Hello, and welcome to Portland State University's CTF Walkthrough Channel. This is the walkthrough for Just Know. A program at this address has access to a flag, but it refuses to share it. Can you convince it otherwise? Here's the hint. So let's CD to that path and see what we're up against. So there are a bunch of files here. Uh, there's an authorization file, the flag file, the just know executable, and the source code for just know. So if we run just know, it'll tell us that the authorization file says no, so no. Uh, it won't give us the flag. And if we look inside the auth file, it indeed says no. Give it a sec. It'll say no. It says no. Not what you can do about that. So the hint says to check out the difference between relative and absolute paths and see how we can use them. Uh, so let's look inside the source code of just no and see what it's doing. So it is opening the authorization file uh, at this directory. Yeah, it is going backwards two directories, then going to uh, this directory. What if we are able to duplicate this directory somewhere else? So let's try that. Let's cd to our home directory. So we can make a duplicate of those directories by using mkdir, which makes directories. So let's make mkdir problems. This is in our home directory. Or directory remember, just type cd to go back there. And there is our new directory. Let's cd into it. Now let's make mkdir this mess. cd into it that. Let's make an auth file. And since this is in our home directory, we actually have access to it, so we can edit it and do something like, uh, this is lagging, do something like put yes in it. Now, from this directory, we can try calling the program by doing this. It CDs outwards twice and then goes to that directory. We are able to uh, create a new directory that we control and put an auth file there that it reads instead because it is not checking uh, where the program is being run from. So you can run it from here and it works. So it gives us the flag now because our authorization file doesn't say no. Uh, there's a space there. Now the challenge is complete.